Uh, Principal Park right now, a beautiful night out there. Look at how green that grass is though. Uh, looking out at Marshalltown, we've got some high clouds out there. Really a pretty nice day is upon us. Winds though, been pretty strong. Sustained winds right now in Creston at 20 miles an hour and we're continuing to see gusts upwards of 30 miles an hour across a good portion of the state. So that breeze has been pumping in the warmth, but again makes it a little bit more annoying if you're roaming around outside. And as we look on our super Doppler right again, we've got the showers up there right now. As we head in this into the evening hours, could see even a storm or two fire up through that northern edge of the state there. Uh, as this area low pressure continues to kind of pinwheel its way along the Iowa Minnesota border. So you can see the general track on these brings them north upwards of Fort Dodge through Mason City, tries to bring more robust storms just south of Fort Dodge, moves that out of here and weakens it really quick though. And as we head throughout the day on Tuesday, more isolated hit or miss stuff. As we end of the afternoon, there will be a chance uh, mainly through southern portions of the state. But again, it's going to be pretty hit or miss. So if you're hoping for some rain, well, it's going to take us a bit to actually get to that uh, in your eight day forecast. Again, there's, there's not going to be a whole lot. Chances for anything strong going to be on that northern edge of the state. Areas in yellow there will have the highest likelihood for perhaps some isolated hail or so. And you can see that does not sink down much further than Fort Dodge. So again, rain chances not exactly the highest out there for us tonight. And even into the day tomorrow, we're mainly just talking cloud cover out there. Ankeny 75 degrees looking across the day. Prime time for those chances for an isolated shower will be in the early afternoon hours. And those temperatures they are pretty cool. Middle 70s up in Ankeny for much of the afternoon. 80 for the Metro. Again, plan for cloud cover out there tomorrow. Temperatures starting off in the 60s and again, we don't gain that much. We are in the mid to upper 70s for much of the day with that chance for an isolated shower, but not going to be seeing too much as far as robust rain chances go uh, for your day out there tomorrow. Tonight again, isolated storms through northern portions of the state and tomorrow we keep it cloudy that high at 80 degrees. Again, could see a scattered shower or thunderstorm mainly through the southern portion of the state. Otherwise, just plan on cloud cover. We'll top around town to town here. 75 for Ames, Boone at 74 areas to the southwest, middle 70s as well with cloudy skies to the northwest. Feeling a lot more like fall, isn't it? Middle 70s there, 74 for Grundy Center, Marshalltown at 73 and mid to upper 70s to the southeast under mostly cloudy skies. Eight day forecast. We're going to bounce around a bit here as we head throughout the day tomorrow. Again, we'll have a chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm. After that, temperatures back into the upper 80s on Thursday. More rain chances to end your work week with summer heat returning 90s all weekend long. All right, thank you, Jason. Well, what was once a downtown hotspot is now sitting mostly quiet. The plan tonight up for approval that could revamp the old Des Moines Social Club.